Hi students, so most knowledge at university is transferred in the form of a lecture. So you go to the lecture and you hear lots of input from the professor or from the lecturer. And how do you make most of a lecture? Well, most students sit there and of course you have something to write on. So you have a pen and you have your paper and you have your lecture notes. And then you go to the next lecture, to the next lecture, and you leave your lecture notes until it's exam time. And at exam time you notice, oh my god, my lecture notes! So what do I do with my lecture notes? You don't understand them anymore. So there's a system that we need to develop. And we have the system for any university student, but it's even more important when you have lectures in a foreign language. So let's look at this system, which is called the Cornell note-taking system. The Cornell note-taking system means that you have your lecture notes in three parts. In the first part you jot down your notes during a lecture. After the lecture, ideally soon after the lecture, you do two more things. The first thing you do is you write some questions here. Questions about this stuff. And the next part that you do here, you write a short summary of the lecture. So with this technique, you are able to review everything you have done. You can question yourself and thus keep track of your learning and how much you have really already learned what was presented in the lecture. And you have a good overview via the summary. Let's give you an example. So let's say you attended a lecturer on the properties of matter. This could be an introductory lecture in material science. Okay, so you have the properties of matter. You know, for example, that we have solids, we have liquids, and we have gases. What you also know is that we have many sub um, categories of solids. For example, we have metals, we have ceramic, we have glass, and so on. Now metals have some good properties for us. For example, metals conduct electricity in most cases. They do that quite well. For example, copper. Um, metals also are ductile. Ductile means they can be drawn into shape. That's why we can use them for wires. And they are also malleable. Malleable means we can beat them into shape. So metals have some quite good properties. That's why we use them for our purposes in mechanical engineering. Now, when it comes to the time after the lecture, the questions and the summary, you could do the following things. For example, you could ask the questions, what are the three states of matter? And any time you review your lecture notes, you can hide this part and you can check yourself if you can answer the question. This means you have memorized what was being presented during the lecture. Another question is, what are the properties of metals? And again, you can check yourself if you've understood the content of the lecture when you then look at your notes to verify what you thought are the properties of metals, meaning contact electricity, they are ductile and they are malleable. Okay, And of course, by writing a summary, um, you also process the content of the lecture and you keep a good overview of what has been said. Now, using the Cornell note-taking system um, has to be practiced in order to really um, gain the whole thing out of it, its potential. Okay, so you might practice it with one of the following videos in this course and then you can apply it at university during your studies.